Hi guys, this is Joanna with WP Smackdown brought to you by Escape Creative. Today we're talking about how to modify your DNS settings so that when people go to your domain name, they see your website hosted correctly. For this to happen, we need to update your domain's A record with the IP address given to you by your hosting provider. In our case, we host our website with WP Engine and our domain registrar is GoDaddy. There are many different types of domain name providers to choose from, but we prefer GoDaddy as our main domain registrar. They always offer excellent deals when purchasing domains, and it's very easy to secure an available domain name of your choice. Today, I'll be working on my MacBook Pro in the Google Chrome browser. We'll start by logging into the back end of my WordPress site. So we'll go into WP Smackdown. Log in, we'll go to the WP Engine tab, which is at the top left. Something that I like to do is go down to display options and turn on the WP Engine admin bar for the administrator. Click save. This is so I can get to the WP Engine tab and actions quickly and easily. Um, if I go over here and I click refresh, continue, you'll see that there are now WP Engine quick links at the top. Okay, so back to WP Engine general settings tab. Um, if you look up here, you'll see that it tells you what your DNS settings should be for the CNAM and the A record. Today we're only worried about the A record. So I'll go ahead and grab this IP address. And next, we're going to go ahead and go into my domain registrar, which is again GoDaddy. And I'm going to change the DNS zone file for the A record. Okay. So I'll go ahead and click edit here. And I'll click here and I'll change this IP address to the IP address that I just grabbed from my WordPress admin area. We'll leave TTL at 600 seconds. TTL stands for time to live. In reference to DNS changes, TTL is important because it's the time that the key domain records are flushed. GoDaddy's default TTL is 600 seconds for the A record, so that means every 10 minutes the A record is flushed worldwide so that the new IP address we put in propagates and the website is pointed to the new IP address quickly. So I'll go ahead and click save zone file. Click OK. OK again. So after we updated this zone file, we're going to go back to our WordPress uh, backend admin area and we'll adjust the site settings to match the DNS changes. So we'll go to settings, general, and you'll see WordPress address URL and site address URL. So we're going to actually change that to wpsmackdown.com. So this is the domain name that the public will see. So we'll click save changes. That being logged out is an expected behavior because we just changed where the WordPress site was living from wpsmackdown.wpengine.com over to wpsmackdown.com. So now we're going to log back in. And it looks like our DNS changes have immediately taken place. And just to be sure, I'm going to go to wpsmackdown.com. WP Smackdown is live. What's neat about this is that you're witnessing the birth of WP Smackdown's website. So we're happy we're able to share this with you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us by email or send us a tweet at WP Smackdown. Thank you for your support. Please check out our other tutorials on our video channel and at wpsmackdown.com. 
This is Joanna with WP SmackDown signing off.